On the 18th of July 2018, following a request by the French government, the British Royal Air Force deployed three Chinook helicopters from RAF Odium in the UK to the West African country of Mali. On arrival in theatre, the Chinooks were grouped under a new unit designated as 1310 Flight and were integrated into the French chain of command, under which the three helicopters would provide a heavy lift capability for French counterinsurgency operations in northern Mali. Such was the importance of this capability that by September of 2018, the Chinooks had successfully completed 30 missions, transported over 700 French troops, and conveyed over 70 tons of French equipment. Wing Commander Matthew Roberts, the officer commanding 18 Squadron RAF, comments that, With the Chinook Mark V, we can move a huge amount of stores around the area of operations and increase the in-theater maneuverability of the French. Our French partners have done absolutely everything to ensure we are integrated into their operation with all the support required to reach full operating capacity. Almost three years to the day after arriving in Mali on the 20th of July 2021, 1310 Flight was called upon to help their French counterparts in rescuing two airmen who had ejected from their aircraft and were now stranded in an area near the border with Burkina Faso. Earlier that day, the two airmen of the French Air Force had been carrying out an air support mission on board a Dassault Mirage 2000 fighter jet when suddenly a malfunction occurred which led to the aircraft to begin falling out of the sky. Very quickly, the two crewmen ejected and landed safely near the town of Fonbori, whilst their Mirage careered down and crashed into the desert a short distance away. Given the fact that the region was a known insurgent hotbed and there was a chance that they would be killed or captured, it was imperative that both the airmen were evacuated and the crash site sealed off, and at some time on the 20th of July, a joint British-French rescue operation was initiated. Consisting of two French Tiger helicopters and two of the British Chinooks, which were carrying some 60 French commandos, the rescue force got airborne and flew out from Gao Air Base. Interestingly, it was initially reported by French media outlets that the Chinooks were instead two NH-90 Cayman helicopters of the French Army. These reports, however, were proven to be inaccurate thanks to statements provided by the Royal Air Force and the British Ministry of Defence. RAF Chinooks currently serving in Mali have supported the recovery operations after technical damage caused the crew of a French Mirage 2000 jet to eject. The helicopters were ideally placed to lift under short notice around 60 French troops to the crash site. Flying out from Gao, the rescue force soon arrived over the crash site and touched down in its vicinity, from where the French commandos disembarked from the Chinooks and secured the immediate area. Fortunately, no enemy forces were present, thus enabling the evacuation of the two airmen to proceed without incident, both of whom were airlifted out by the Chinooks to Gao Air Base, where one of them underwent medical treatment for injuries he had sustained after ejecting from the fighter jet. Shortly thereafter, the Chinooks returned to the crash site with a group of French explosive disposal experts and accident investigators, whose task it was to examine the wreckage of the Mirage and determine the cause of the accident. Their arrival brought a successful conclusion to the rescue operation. The 20th of July operation to rescue the two downed airmen in Mali highlights an often overlooked and close relationship between the British and French militaries, which has endured for over a hundred years. For the forces of two partner nations to mobilise as quickly as they did and accomplish their mission so effectively underpins this strong bond, with Chinook pilot squadron leader Charlie Brown, who was deployed to Mali at the time, later recounting. We have been fully integrated into the French aviation unit based in Mali for some time now, and were able to respond quickly and effectively in support of the French recovery operation. This was an outstanding performance from all involved, and yet again demonstrated the excellent interoperability we have developed with our French counterparts here in Mali.